Let's bring in our bowls of bears. Spending four bucks on a cup of coffee. Total discretionary spending. Ellen, what do you think this report is telling us? I, I, you know why it's up? Because the government hasn't focused on coffee yet. Wait till they start to monitor your coffee. That's it. Then we're done. So shh. Line Good of the point. century. <laughs> well, you know, we should let people know Ellen is actually a comedian. So there you go. There's Love that line. CPA, a Merrill Lynch worker, and yes. a comedian. Yeah, I know. Strange, That's a good but combination. True. I know. Look at me now. I'm talking about derivatives. Wow. <laughs> I've just come full circle, everybody. Well, that, 10, that 10, 12 million dollars, is there a clause in there where they say that if we give you this money, you cannot cry like a girl that didn't go to the prom? Is there a clause in there? I just want, yeah, should. I think so. You, I that guess. kind of money, he should not cry you like a girl. By the way, if you're going to get somebody a map, get one for Obama. Didn't he say 57 states? Yeah, Wasn't that 57? Exactly. So I think he needs the map. <laughs> First of all, anyway, I would say that's checkmate. <laughs> Let's start from the beginning. Yeah. You have an affair with somebody that does videotaping for a living. Yeah. Right then and there, you're bad not idea. exactly the sharpest pencil in the box. <laughs> yeah. That's a bad idea. And I think as far as his wife goes, I've been talking about this for two years. Mm -hmm. First of all, I think that uh, between the National Enquirer, they should replace the FBI, and TMZ should replace the CIA, because they seem to be ahead of everybody else. I don't think she wants to speak. I, I, I really don't. And he's giving these interviews because the Masters is in two weeks. If it wasn't, he wouldn't be giving well, that, these that, interviews. That, that, that he's trying be. to lay the Look, playing field so he doesn't wanna, get too many boos. Finally, pet care? Has anyone really tried to write off their pet care? Now, Liz, I live in a building where they love dogs, and woman upstairs from me uh, has two Cocker Spaniels, Laverne and Shirley, and she asked me if she can deduct the vet bills, but the IRS doesn't care about your pets. <laughs> they don't care that the vet ripped you off for $5,000 to take out Shirley's tonsils. They don't care. Now, why? Right, because, well, you did it correctly. You have to move for work, but there's even limitations with that, because you have to move within 50 miles. Uh, from your former residence for that to be deducted. For, and it's only for employment. So if you fall in love on Facebook and move for that person, mm -mm. and by the way, that relationship's not going to work anyway. Right. But that's beside the point. <laughs> Home office is a total red flag. I mean, I've had people in the performing arts go, well, I sing in my living room. Sorry, <laughs> it doesn't matter. The credit card debt has been disallowed. The th now, here's the trick. You have to pick up whatever was disallowed on your income tax because that's income to you. So it's a double-edged sword because it's you didn't have enough money to pay the credit card company. But it's but income now you have to pay you the, the IRS, and you know that you can't go back and borrow credit card money to pay the IRS. This is why I this hire why someone to do my tax. Death and tax. Taxes. Ellen, wow. thank you so much. Great information this morning and tax day not that too far away. Thanks so much, Ellen. I'm going to tell you, I honestly knew my husband for a long time. We knew each other for over 10 years. I know, 10 years. And people always wonder, like, why, why do two people get married after they know each other for so long? They've been together. What's the point? I'm going to tell you. Okay. Because... <clears throat> And seriously, I do get very emotional, so I think, you know, we're Greek, you know, it's like, <laughs> crying is easy. Um, because, because one day, one day you look at that person and you realize you're not gonna do any better than that. <laughs>